Hey folks, Daniel Osborne here. It is random message time from scripture. So this is video number 61 of the video series that corresponds to the book, Road of Happy Destiny. And I have a Bible. And I have a Bible. And so we're going to pick this one. And randomly open it up and we're gonna see a message uh, for me to speak on a little bit today. So let's go ahead and get this joker open. Alright, how about right here? Alright, I'm not sure what that says, but I'm going to safely pull over and dig into this a little bit. And we're going to find out what it says. I landed in Jeremiah 30, oh, excuse me, Jeremiah 15, verse 15. I'm going to dig into that a little bit, and I will be right back. Back again. That didn't take long. Alright, good. So, Jeremiah 15, 15 says, Lord, you understand. Remember me and care for me. Avenge me on my persecutors. You are long-suffering. Do not take me away. Think of how I suffer repro reproach for your sake. I think it's so important to remember the fact that God is in the future. Your future to him is a memory every possible combination of every possible choice every person could ever possibly make makes a new future he's in all of them so back then thousands of years ago when jeremiah was a living prophet on this world jesus as far as god was concerned already happened so <laughs> it's crazy to think that the reproach that Jeremiah was suffering was based on information about a Messiah that hadn't come yet in that timeline. Also, God is long-suffering. He's slow to anger. Remember, his holy people, Israel, were in Egypt in suffering and slavery for 400 years before he did anything. Why? Good question. That's a question for God. But one of the reasons why is because he's slow to anger. And thank goodness for that, because I don't know about you, but I make a lot of mistakes in my life. And I don't like upsetting. I don't like upsetting um, God Almighty. Don't like it. I don't like difficulty in my life. I don't like disrespecting Him. And so it's very helpful to me uh, and to all of us. And I'm so grateful for it that God is slow to anger. Um, God remembers us, and He understands. And what Jeremiah is saying there is to God is just is, is His gratitude for God understanding His plight. How does he understand our plight? Because he lives in us through the Holy Spirit, for one thing. And for two, Jesus, God himself, came down in a man called Jesus and lived in this world and suffered everything. Faced every temptation. He was tempted in all points, on all points, in all ways, as we are, yet without sin. He suffered unbelievable, unbearable pain for us. And so I think it's just critical to realize and remember the fact that God understands us completely. He personally experienced the lives that we live through Christ and through Christ that lives in us. God is in here, inside of this, apart from my personality and my consciousness, separate from that. God is hanging out inside of this vessel, living my life with me. He understands. He gets it. And he has compassion there. And and forgiveness where I don't deserve it. And he knows that, and that's what grace is. Grace is unmerited mercy and unmerited favor. I am truly blessed and highly favored for no reason other than he loves me. And the same is true for you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I love doing this. Um, it's, it's fun for me, and I think God gets kind of a kick out of it too, and I'm hoping that you do as well. So I just want to say thank you so much again for watching. And it is my sincerest prayer in this moment that God bless you continually and abundantly beyond even what you already deserve. That he brings redemption and restoration into your life. And that you just enjoy the rest of this day and the rest of this week. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.